I actually lived here from when I was like six months old till like uh, on and off like six or seven. So yeah, I've been here quite a bit. <laughs> Um, you know, it feels pretty darn good, <laughs> actually. Uh, looking at all the beautiful people on our set, and our crew is actually pretty good looking too. So, uh, yeah, it's all but a blessing, really. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I, but it's accidental, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Working with John is probably my favorite, but it's probably the crew's least favorite because we <laughs> had the least amount of work done. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a wild one having him on set. It's the best. Yeah, he, for me, um, he just changes up the, the energy of the air. It just becomes like we're in grade school having fun again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. He's all like, he's, like, we have a lot of fun to work with him. Like, he, like, he sing and dance, you know, like, yeah. entertain, like, even if you're, if you're not, like, if you're not shooting, so that's great. Right. I mean, with the uh, all the series that have come out of, of Arrow, from The Flash to now Legends to, I mean, there's probably going to be an infinite number of more eventually. Um, there's all that possibility just wrapped into it. That's the reason why we've been able to do that, and it makes it so, it, there's just so many options of what could happen along those lines. I can't say anything for, for sure, because I honestly don't even know the true actual answer, but... There's always hopes and options out there, really. Well, we have amazing stunt doubles, incredible, incredible stunt doubles, and uh, insurance clauses written into our contracts and make it so we can't do a huge chunk of the stuff that even some of us want to, but um, it's definitely a, a physical challenge at all times to keep up and to, to make it look like we can you know, uh, move fluidly in between the little cuts that we do get to do as well as um, looking like we can actually are in physical enough shape to pull this stuff off. Because, you know, if you got a flab sticking out your belly, you wouldn't think that someone's going to punch it and it'd be rock hard. <laughs> I, think, I think that the action, actually, um, the physical stuff, is the easiest part compared to the emotional yeah. stuff. Um, you know, having to go there, it's like, it's, it's, after doing an emotional, after doing a physical scene, I'm good. I could do that all day. But after doing one of these emotionally, psychologically meaty scenes, um, I'm pretty drained. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I was just taking it episode by episode, but every yeah. single every single episode, um, you know, you just try to give as truthful uh, a, a performance as possible. And um, yeah, they, they gave us all a lot of very um, challenging psychologically and mentally emotionally challenging um, moments for me when I heard the news that Maceo was gonna go at the hands of um, Katana I mean I thought I thought that was brilliant I thought that um, you know I'm a huge Shakespeare fan and um, the reason why I love this show because it, it parallels the 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 profound depth of, you know, Shakespeare, and um, you know that's something that happens. Um, so yeah, for me it was it was pretty cool. Um, when I heard about it, I was, I mean, I knew it's gonna happen someday. But I, I had a feeling it's gonna it's gonna come in, but I was like, I was really sad and like on on the set, I was a bit upset <laughs> before I'm actually. <laughs> Yeah, it was Mark has told me, don't make any plans. I'm like, oh, great. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm, I think it's, well, first off, when he called me to tell me about the fact that Maceo was going to die before, oops, spoiler. Uh, <laughs> gonna, I think we've crossed gonna, that bridge. Gonna, uh, <laughs> go before the end of the season, um, well, by the finale. Um, he just seemed real nervous and apprehensive. I was talking to me, and I was like, hey, man, you know, I, I get the sense that you're, you're a little nervous tell, sharing this information with me. Um, you know, I, I'm just a huge fan of the story of the show itself, and um, the fact that it's been going on this long, my character has gone on this long, was just, uh, was just a surprise. So I knew at some point this was going to happen. Um, and he says, I said, well, you know, like you, 
I could use a vacation. So um, this is good news for the story and my vacation. And he says, well, don't make any plans. <laughs> I grew up as a, as a bit of a DC nerd, so I really had a f profound appreciation for coming onto the show. Um, and I, I had heard drops of the potential of anything along the lines of Speedy Arsenal or Red Arrow being like just from the get go. And in the pilot, it was written that uh, he said Speedy. Um, so it was just a huge massive easter egg for myself let alone like everybody else when it came out um but you know three years was a bit of a long time waiting for it to happen <laughs> um but i understand why it all happened that way because of the trajectory and building up the origins she needed to go from this point to rock bottom to build back up again which is what they've done with uh, like almost everybody's character really they've just broken them down to the point where they have no choice but to go up or to the dark like to bring the origins of these comic book characters to life. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't really see it happening. We hope not. We hope not. I, I mean, there was that you know that period of time where there was just a like, slew of Batman's and Superman's coming out. I mean, it wasn't as many as this right now, but there was still that period of time. And if anything, people were like, "Why did it all go? And why wasn't it good enough?" <laughs> but, yeah, I think, if anything. The world, in reality, needs the morality tale of our superhero stories. We need that. I mean, especially with the things that are going on today. I mean, we need that sense of hope and, um, you know, uh, do the right thing and wherever you can protect people who need protecting. And You know, it's very inspirational for me. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly good message to be putting out there. I mean, aside from the, the villains and stuff and what they're doing, I, mean, I wouldn't tell anybody here to go become Malcolm Merlin and kill 503 <laughs> people, but I would say, totally, you know, if you wanted to protect people, and like, I'm not saying suit up either, but people can do that in their own ways. Like, we can all stick together, be protective, and, and work as, as a human connected unit. I actually, uh, went to a Comic Con in Atlantic City last weekend and for the first time I saw a uh, cosplay version of Speedy with my haircut, everything like perfect, like right after the finale. It was the day after the finale aired and then that happened and she was all the way in the back of the panel and I could just see it from the corner of my eye and I just told her to stand up and I saw her outfit and I started crying <laughs> in the middle of the whole crowd because it was just the, the coolest thing that's ever happened. It's pretty, pretty cool. I, I get obsessed with it. I'm sure all of us, like, I mean, mm -hmm. your outfit, hers is insane. Um, that mask is amazing. I mean, I, I love the whole, like, co I mean, costume designer's work yeah. from Arrow. Like, she, she's amazing. She's amazing. She does such an amazing job. And she also asked me, like, you know, as a, as a point of, I mean, because I'm born and grew up in Japan. So they asked me, like, is that really, like, you know, truthful? Or, like, what do you think? And she researched about it. And she's, it's really nice, you know. And it's, yeah, I really love my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was so, so excited. Like, Whoa! Yeah. We actually yeah, yeah, yeah. saw yeah. each other. After, like she was just finishing her fitting for the uh -huh. first time, and I was just about to try mine on for the first time. Mm -hmm. And I just remember seeing hers, and I was like, "Oh, what? No! <laughs> Damn, that's gonna be way cooler than mine." And I was waiting, oh. like you know, after I finished fitting, I was like watching, like from like you know, <laughs> from behind my change. <laughs> I always bring, like, whenever I, because I've had that question quite a few times today in the last couple of weeks, and just uh, pertaining to all the, the movies that are being made and stuff like that in the comic book world, it's also taking a side from the, the, t the TV shows, because we had uh, the Suicide Squad and these things inside of it, Argus, we were going really heavily into that for a minute, and then, I mean, something must have come down from DC or some, some higher up above that said, no, you must cease and desist because we're going to make it into a movie and we can't have anybody spoil that idea. And we did get to see that little, like, pigtail and the Argus uniform and the little treat of a Harlequin, and then it just got ripped away. So if, if we could actually have Harlequin on the show, that'd be amazing, but it's never going to happen. Thank you. Uh, I, I think that Thea would very much appreciate having her brother back in her life, um, even though she's very happy that he, he's running off um, with the woman of his dreams right now. He's very happy, but I think she definitely needs him too. Um, and 
uh, for her future in season four, man. I just, yeah, I hope that she keeps wearing that costume as much as possible and maybe gets a yellow one with a cape or something. I don't know. <laughs> do you think we'll see more crossover episodes with The Flash as well? Would you like to do some more? Uh, I would love to do that stuff, but uh, the, the writers love to keep us all very much in the dark, and they don't really want to tell me much about it. I mean, obviously there wasn't anything of me in season three crossing over, but there's a bunch of possibilities, especially now that the yeah. Legends of Tomorrow and everything like that, there's always the options and stuff, but again, like they, I didn't even know what my suit looked like until I tried it on, and I mean, I'm just teasing about the yellow cape, I'm just really wanting it, they have not confirmed anything about it. <laughs> Episode. episode by episode, wow. and we're probably going to get, we start shooting season 4, July 13th. I'm going to go ahead and ballpark saying that I'm not going to see the script on the 10th. <laughs> All three of you in a battle royale, which character wins? I would probably lose. <laughs> I'm the smallest. Well, we already know now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, of course she wins. She wins in the costume and she wins in life. Um, that's, that's actually a really good question because one thing that makes me so honored to be on this show is being able to do a justification of this character's arc as, as a female and as an empowered woman. Um, I mean, she just gets beaten down by, by everybody in her life, uh, whether it be the males or the females, just everybody in her life has just been lying to her, untrustworthy, all that, and she honed into something inside of that, like herself and is becoming what she is becoming. and. Uh, it's very, very amazing to be able to represent that, um, and it's. I think a lot of the girls on our show have been pulling that stuff out really hard. Like Katie Cassidy's character has gone through so much, and now has just come out the other end like a very strong woman. Um, and I have very high hopes for the future for for women being empowered in, in television and in, in movies. Um, I think that Harley Quinn could be a great one as a like crazy, sexy supervillain, but. Take it away from just you know her being sexy and actually just being strong and powerful, um, and that's usually what should be pushed out there far more than pumping up the breasts and showing her ass. Like, let's actually show her mind or what she is physically capable of. It's been it been a, a huge arc, especially for for Thea in season three, um, but uh, really. Going back was was a bit uh, painful for me, to be honest, because I've, I mean, I, I don't blame people I, I, for typecasting, I understand it, I, I just feel, felt like through the trajectory of my career, I was always typecasted as a little sister of somebody, and then also a bitch uh, for a while, or like some type of like rich girl wearing a school uniform, I mean, that was the exact same school uniform I wore it in the NLC, it was really weird, <laughs> I felt really awkward about it, but it's fine. Um, so going back into that thing was just, it was just like, haven't I proven that, mm. that, I, I, I'm, that this is not who I am? And I should not be represented as that, but it was nice to be able to, to show. Um, it was an interesting contrast to see. Yeah, it was nice to be able to show the contrast between the two mm. um, and, and prove that. And also to show everybody the fact that I look way better with short hair than long hair. <laughs> I, I think, mm -hmm. personally. I do do you watch Gotham. Gotham. I watch Gotham all the time. It's actually pretty crazy how many people I've worked with that are attached to Gotham, now Legends of Tomorrow, and The Flash. Like, I worked with Drew uh, yeah. a bunch of times, uh, Dominic Purcell I've worked with, like, which is kind of crazy, awesome uh, little small world we have up here, but it's, it's amazing. Uh, I ran into him a few weeks ago, actually, at this, the upfronts, um, and yeah, we were just chatting about it, how crazy it is. It's just, uh, it's awesome. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's the thing. But they're both very talented actresses, and they'll go with that flow, I think. Well, if, yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> if they were to take a lighter tone, where would you like to see your character go in, in that direction? But personally, I mean, this is all this personal opinion, because again, I have no idea what's happening in season four yet. I, like, literally no idea, other than the fact that I'm going to be in it. That's all I know. <laughs> um, uh, I I hope that we get to see some type of effect from the Lazarus Pit. I think that'd be really awesome. Um, some type of just whatever, and whether it be good or or bad. Um, and I, I hope that you know it, it, people are starting. Like, I think that the stories are starting to come to a really like cool, calming end almost, where everyone's drama is kind of being resolved. So maybe there is like you know a period of time where everyone can actually just be happy for a second, <laughs> and then it'll probably get ruined in a couple episodes. But. Um, 
It's, 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 it's very interesting because uh, a lot of the people come up to me and say, they're like, you realize that uh, Roy Harper was supposed to be Speedy. I'm like, yeah, that's in one of the comics, but there's also another one where Mere Deirdre is Speedy. So, I mean, I hate to say I have done my research, and I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff. And I get, you know, people not thinking that, but um, it's, it's, it's interesting coming from the show because there's our writers wrote for the comics, um, and they have a huge, profound love for the stories, um, and they don't want us to steer away from it, but it's also difficult being on television, being on a network, and trying to mix the two together. Um, there's definitely certain things that are going to that are gonna be lost a little bit, um, but it's, it's nice to be able to pull out those dots yeah. and prove uh, the actual stories in the pudding, I guess. I think <laughs> what, uh, what makes a hero also very interesting is their vulnerability. That, that's what makes them interesting to watch because they're, I mean, how, how interesting would it be if a hero was just this hero all the time? We would lose interest. So, mm -hmm. um, like you said, like they're going to do some, some flawed things and, you know, that's, that's great for the morality part of the story as like a cautionary aspect um, of what not to do and how we can learn from it, especially as heroes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.